Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today you're joining me on my adventure on figuring out how to install this Vicris LED lights for the SRT grill. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys have seen Vicris installation video on these and if you haven't yeah, go ahead and take a look at it um, I didn't like how they did it how they uh, 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 instruct you on how to install these because mainly the wires are dangling all over the place and uh, it does not look as professional as possible it looks more like a patch job or just jerry rig so i'm gonna show you the most professional way that i can think of on how to install these babies now first things first like they said in the video yes go ahead and unite this uh yellow and green wire after that what we're gonna do is go ahead and remove the snorkel covers right here and remove the intake box the whole entire intake box, we gotta remove that. And I'll bring the camera in and show you uh, most of the work. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna record the entire video and I'm probably, I'm gonna voice over and that way you can understand better, you know, with clarity what I'm talking about. Cause you know, over here you may have background noises and stuff like that. You can reach from behind and push this tabs like like so and you should be able to release them by just pushing on these tabs like so it will come out or you can say <laughs> I don't need this anymore why would I preserve them so just rip them off you have a good channel to go behind it the, the headlight right here so it well, no matter whatever dust charger you have you definitely have a channel to run your wires through here and catch them in the back of the car. Like I can touch my fingers right now. So I'm gonna bring the phone closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, that's to get you familiarized with what are you gonna do and how you're gonna run the wires. Also, the there's a bracket right here. Let me bring the phone closer. This. So you get familiarized with what are you gonna be doing. You're gonna put double-sided tape in here, which is 3M or Gorilla Tape, whichever you have. I have Gorilla Tape. So I'm gonna put a big stick of Gorilla Tape in there and stick it underneath right here. There is a big plastic bracket right here and another big plastic bracket right here. But right in the middle, there's nothing. It's just this plastic. So that's where you're gonna be sticking that on. Now the best place, to, the best way to do that, it is you grab on, you a wipe with isopropyl alcohol or some sort of a surface prep cleaner and clean the underside of the plastic so you can have a better adhesion on your double-sided tape. Now, so you get familiarized where you're gonna be placing this at is, this is your plastic bracket right there. And this surface right here is the area that you need to clean to the best of your knowledge and then this is where you're going to be sticking on your led box then the wires you're going to be running you're going to be running the wires through here right through here literally this goes straight to the back of the headlight right through here but you're going to be running above the rubber right here and then in that way the wires will never be seen when the car is on when it's being driven or when you're on a car show or anything like that you'll never be able to see the wires box goes in here wires goes through here and when we get to the other side i'm gonna show you how to connect it i place both of my gorilla molding tapes right where i'm pointing at right there on the side of the flat side of it so it gets better adhesion and i'm over here i'm showing you where i am placing the box into so like i said it's right between the two plastic brackets from the bumper support over here you can see me, me trying to bring the wire through the cover and over here i'm showing you 
that I actually place the wire, like I say, above the rubber or above the plastic slash rubber cover. See, it's very flexible, so you can actually just use your hands and run the wire through it, no problem. And that's how you see where the wire is coming out, right in between that little slit right down the corner on the top right. And that's how it is. At this point, just simply place the LED lights into the grill and you are done from the front. Now moving on into wiring. Wiring is the most tedious part of the entire job. It's actually the one that takes it the longest. Now, I'm using this particular buck connectors, which is heat shrink and it has solder right on it. It has seals on both sides and solder it on it. And you can either use a lighter or in my case, I'm using a heat gun. When using these back connectors, it's very simple. You put one wire on one side, two wires on the other side, make them meet in the middle, and then use your heat gun to, or lighter, whichever type of heat source you have. Heat it up together until you see the solder melting. In addition, I added a heat shrink on it just to, you know, complete the whole seal. And, you know, it looks more professional that way. Please be careful when using knife, but over here you can see me where I'm stripping away the insulation or the wrapping or the wire loop that the factory had over here. And uh, strip away as much as you would like to. I end up stripping away just as about three or four inches down. That way it gives me enough space for me to select the location where I will be cutting the wires uh, four and five of the connector on the, the pin wires four and five because those are the two wires i'm going to be using in order to connect the led light in place as far as the ground wire goes simply you know it, on each side fender you will see a ground port where you can just put it on just loosen the nut you don't know how to take it all the way out and then you don't put the connector right under the nut you put the connector underneath the connector that is already there that way, when you are using your ratchet, you know, it doesn't really move the connector in place. Over here, you see me where I splice up the wires already. Now, mind you, remember this. The red wire goes to the wire on pin number four of the connector. The connector have numbers on it. Please identify pin number four or just rewatch Vicar's videos for you to identify which wire it is. Now. Over here, you see me where I'm heat shrinking. I'm adding, I'm adding insulation, which is the, the heat shrink itself, plus the the back connector, which it melts the solder in place. Now I'm holding it to cool off. Do not, if you're using my back connectors or my type of back connectors, and you heat up the solder on it, don't let it go right away. Because if you let it go, then it will just undo everything that you just did. So I'm putting two wires together. If you see here, and then the other wire from in the other side. And then heating it up and get it all heat shrink, all the solder all melted in there, just like so. Get all nice and connected. And once you're done with that, then just tape it all up and connect it. And then after you are done waiting for the solder to cure up and everything, test your lights. Testing the light is very important. As you can see, mine work, no problem. Because I did follow the instructions, I just happened to do it a little bit more professionally when I was actually sorting the wire in place instead of just putting the back connectors on it. Alright, now you can see here I'm turning on the turn signal so you can see that, it's, that it works. Now that you're done testing your light, simply just go ahead and repeat everything that you just did on this side on the, to the other side. And then on the other side, I'm going to show you how to at connectors so in case you have to remove the front bumper or the light itself should be good to simply unplug the connectors and remove the light or just the bumper so here we go you can buy two pin connectors from pretty much any automotive store that there is out there and in uh, what you see over here i'm using the already spade connectors on the yellow and green wire added it on to the spade connector that i attached to the black wire on this two pin connector wire that way i can you know disconnect anytime i feel like i went ahead and added a heat shrink on top of it that way i can prevent any shorts and I also insulates the wires and keeps it all safe from all weather elements 
After completing all the wires, simply just take both sides of your connectors and plug them together and there you have it. In the end, this entire project pretty much took me about two hours because I had to do the whole shrinking, cutting and processing of the entire build. But as you can see, the product came out nice. It's, all the lights are working, no problem. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.